Right guys, so this is um, basically my first YouTube video that I'm going to try and do an explanatory video on how I'm going to fix certain things. Um, it's a bit the wrong way around. I started replacing some of the stuff already last night on the car. Um, initially I removed the gearbox to replace the clutch and the flywheel and then when I bled this or started to bleed the system, the master cylinder on the clutch also went. Um, so I went to pick up a new master cylinder and now the rest of the job will be to complete the installation. It's a 2005 1.9 TDI Touran. Um, so let me show you what I've got. You will see a very fine crack running just there on top of the VW sign. You can kind of see it very faintly just above the VW sign. So this, this one is buggered. Um, and I went ahead and got a new master cylinder, um, not from VW, but also a SAX cylinder, so the same one that's currently installed. Um, so this is the new one, looks exactly the same, the only difference is you can see the VW part number is filed off um, in order for them to to be able to legitimately sell this aftermarket you can see the VW and Audi signs have been filed off so this is our new um, master cylinder that will go into the pedal assembly which is lying right here so that will twist lock in there and that end will stick through and we will reinstall actually it goes that way around and we will reinstall the clutch pedal and then install this whole clutch pedal assembly from, from the inside um, and then we'll connect everything back up there it will come through right there then we'll connect the feed pipe the electrical plug and the actual um, hydraulic line so this is actually a really simple installation um, this master cylinder only slides in here it has a, a rubber seal there so it will slide in until it's in place. You will then rotate it clockwise until this little hook there clips into place and then it's ready to get installed. And this little tab will leave on so that there's no dust or dirt that can get in there. Um, and we'll now continue to install the clutch pedal from the side um, and then assemble it. So Take, taking a look at the at the clutch pedal, um, there's a white clip that's broken or that I broke because I just simply couldn't get it removed. Um, so I managed to get a new one. This is how it looks. This will actually go over the ball of the master cylinder, and then this whole clip will slide into the pedal like that. Um, and it will click into place when it's all the way in. Um, they say you do need special pliers to, rem to remove this. Honestly, even with that special pliers, I'm not sure how you're going to get this clip out without damaging it. Not that expensive, a few bucks. Um, but yeah, worth it to get a new one. So another part that I almost forgot about is this spring assembly that fits inside there. This is basically what keeps your clutch pedal popped out and um, we will need to go ahead and install that together with a clutch pedal basically like that. That little lip will go in there and we'll then install that with a white clip going over here sliding into our pedal.
All right, just to quickly show you, there's absolutely no way that I can actually show you how to install this. There's simply not enough space. So the clutch pedal assembly goes through here. Then you'll see the, the bottom two nuts that's over there. That's easy to get to. The top nut, without removing the dashboard trim, which I didn't want to do, is absolutely impossible to see and almost impossible to reach. I got the nut threaded with my two fingertips and then spinning it on and then I stuck the extension through there um, with three extensions, um, universal and, an, and the 13 socket on the end. There's absolutely no way to see what you're doing. You have to go by feel and guide it with your two fingertips it reaches the nut and then when you feel it actually grips it you must just tighten it and hope it sticks okay so we're back at the front everything seems good and um, so we can now go ahead pop off this little plastic cap um, I'll set that aside we can then push on the feed hose I'm not sure if you can see there we can slide that hose on You'll feel it slides and then it clips into the previous position that it's at. Um, and then go ahead and clip in this plug right there until you can hear it click. And then we can reinstall the line at the bottom. <laughs> and that's it. And now we just need to move that house clamp back into place. And there we go. That is the master cylinder installed. I must actually say, once you get to the point where the clutch assembly or the pedal assembly rather is in and parted, then getting back to this is actually quite easy. So with the camera zoomed out a bit, you'll see we did remove the, the boost pipe that came, that ran behind here. We also removed this butterfly valve sitting here. Without removing those, you literally can't reach behind to get to the master cylinder. So you really need to remove this boost pipe coming up here from the turbo running at the back. Okay, so the, so the reservoir is nice and full now. So we can now start the bleeding process.